New at 10, terrifying moments today for visitors at Battleship Park. Smoke aboard the USS Drum prompted an evacuation and sent fire crews rushing to the scene. NBC 15's Corey Pippen is live at Battleship Park tonight. Uh, Corey, you spoke to folks on board the submarine who rushed out. Now, Cam, visitors, visitors tell me they were touring the sub when they noticed smoke filling up the tight corridors. They made their way out just as fire rescue crews arrived. A normal day for visitors touring the USS Drum at Battleship Park this evening suddenly became anything but ordinary as smoke set off a fire alarm leading to tense moments from responding fire crews. Ethan Smith and Trip Thrash were inside the sub when it all began a little before 5. We had already gone through the battleship and we're heading into the USS Drum when we noticed when we were walking up we saw that there was some smoke. It, we, it mainly looked like dust. The friends say they continue to look around not knowing the smoke was spreading. And so I just put a handkerchief over my nose so I went and breathed it in and we just eased on through. Everything was fine but until we got to the center of the ship we noticed the smoke getting a little thicker. Um, but we didn't think anything of it because it didn't smell bad and uh, then the fire alarms came on. They walked out to find Mobile Fire Rescue crews preparing to battle what they believed to be a fire in the hole. Witnesses outside were stunned by what they saw. Looked over there and the smoke was pouring out of the conning tower of the submarine. I thought, well, this is, this is strange. I was concerned. I thought maybe somebody would be in danger. Battleship Park officials say thankfully that wasn't the case. Instead, the smoke was due to heat from welding work on the outside of the ship. And on the other side was another tank that had been sandblasted. There's some paint residue in there. And after he left, we had some smoke, but they did trigger the alarm, thankfully. So we're glad our alarm worked. Now, officials say there was no damage to the ship. They expect it will be open tomorrow for scheduled events. Reporting live, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.